Alright, so now we're going to move on to uh, Interank Deck and we're going to click on this and it says, can, so Interank Deck is a cryptography challenge. So cryptography has to do with um, sending secret messages. That's what this category of challenges is all about. I'll have to admit that uh, I am very bad with cryptography. It's probably my weakest um, category as far as, far as uh, cybersecurity topics are concerned. So bear in mind that I'm not going to be able to solve very many of these challenges. So, but the description says, can you get the real meaning from this file? Download the file here. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link for the file and I'm going to paste it in chat for everybody. And then we're going to go to the web shell and we're going to step out of here. And did I create a directory for this? So I did. So remember that the um, that the command to create directories, and we should probably create directories for each one of these challenges, so that the uh, so that our files aren't all messy and all you know um, clumped together. So it's mkdir, and then the name of the and then the name of the directory. So I'm going to call this uh, interank deck two uh, because uh, the other directory already has stuff in it. So I'm going to enter the directory. And then I'm going to use wget with the link over here to get the, uh, the file associated with the challenge. So, and uh, so that's going to copy the file over. So we have a file here called ink flag. I'm gonna make the, the text a bit bigger for us. So ink flag, okay. Um, if we do file on this, we can use the file command uh, with the file name to see what kind of contents a file might have. So in this case, it's ASCII text. So we can read the file using the cat command, cat for concatenate, and ink flag. And we see this string right here. So the interesting thing is um, if we see a particular string like this, we could copy this, sorry, copy this, and we could ask our good friend ChatGPT what this is. So I, I'll, I'll admit that I've used ChatGPT as, a, as an assistant for a lot of different cybersecurity challenges, and there is absolutely no shame in using ChatGPT to, um, to help you in research because ChatGPT is basically the new, the new Google search. So we go to ChatGPT and we ask, um, I found this uh, encrypted string. Can you identify what it is? And then we can paste in the string and ChatGPT will respond. Okay, so. So ChatGPT says the provided string appears to be base64 encoded. Base64 encoding is commonly used to encode binary data into text format, which is useful for transmission over text-based protocols such as email or storing uh, data in a text file. Okay, so it can actually it can actually decode the string for us, but we can do this ourselves. Uh, so inside of the web shell, we copy this, and then we can echo echo dash n, and then we can put the string inside some quotes. So we put to so we paste in uh, the string into in between these quotes, and then we can use the pipe character uh, to put that to use that as input for a new command. And the new and the new command is going to be base sixty four d for decode. So what comes back is what looks like more base sixty four code. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to paste this uh, this command in the chat for anybody who wants to try. 
So because we, we got another basic, what looks like another base 64 string. So base 64 strings have a very specific look about them. Um, they're usually alphanumeric strings. So it's going to be capital letters, uh, small letters, and numbers, and a uh, limited number of symbols. You can always tell that something looks very similar to base 64 um, encoding because of the uh, the equal signs at the end of the string over here. So in this case and in this case. But that doesn't mean that all base 64, 64 strings have those, uh, those equal signs at the end. Okay, so what we can do is we can copy this new string and then we can base64 decode that as well. So echo-n, and I'm going to complete this before, before I go back. So it's at this point where we want to insert um, the string. So we can copy this, just like that. And then we can paste with Control-Shift-V, and then base64 decode this. Okay, and over here is what looks a lot like a Pico CTF flag, except that um, it doesn't have the correct um, the correct prefix right here. It should say Pico CTF. So what we can do is we can copy this, and we can ask our good friend ChatGPT again. What kind of encoding could this be? And then paste in the flag. And it'll give us a bunch of code right here. So the priority string looks like it could be a Caesar cipher or substitution cipher as it retains the same pattern as the English language but with characters shifted or replaced. So another, so if we know that it's a Caesar, a Caesar cipher, which is a specific type of substitution cipher used in cryptography, it's actually a very old cipher that they used way back in the Roman times. Uh, we can go to a specific website. I think it's uh, it's decode.fr, and we can switch over to the American version of the website. And we can do Caesar Cipher from here. Cipher identifier, Caesar Cipher. So over here. And in here, we can paste this in. And then we can click on the decrypt button over here. And the first result is um, what looks like the correct flag. So I'll leave a link for this website in the, in the chat. Okay, so uh, so we what we had to do for this challenge is we needed to base64 decode the string twice, and then we needed to apply a Caesar cipher to it, and that got us um, our our flag. So what we can do is we can copy this, copy, and then we can go back to our uh, challenge description, paste in the flag, and click on submit flag. Okay. All right. So I hope everybody didn't have too much trouble with that. Once again, uh, let's. Okay. So in the enter enter ink deck um, challenge window, we can click on the thumbs up. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills. If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.